um, blessed with the ability to write and dance, he creates metaphors and time movements with the intention to inspire. An up and coming artist who is looking to express to anybody who is willing to listen. So without further ado, please put your hands together for Huang. Huang, y'all. Give up for Huang with a bow tie. Oh, sorry. Give it up for Huang. If you like anything, you can snap, snap me, anything. But like Kevin Hart, don't make me laugh, all right? So, I got two pieces for you. One piece is called Behind the Scenes. True story. I used to like a porn star. I met her before the industry welcomed her with open arms and a video camera. Her lifestyle now needs more improvement than Tim Allen's home. But before her career path, I was dead over stilettos for her. I always thought she was a girl next door who lit the block away from me. I wore in the street where she was a glass vase on top of an uneven ladder, and I thought I could keep her stable. Now, she wasn't the brightest female I ever met, nor she the most outgoing. She was not a big fan of the arts. I questioned if she believed in God. I asked myself, what I ever see in her? Just a plain Jane who woman makeup they needed. She had potential to be success, but now she gets paid to lay down, undress, and get caressed by guys who treat her like a piece of meat. I confess, I looked her up once I discovered her undercover alter ego. Her stage name is typical. Just a young dame exploiting new lustful escapades externally. And drowning in a pool of her own insecurities, I wonder where her conscious takes a vacation to every time she decides to get on her knees not to pray. <laughs> I just wanted her to open up her heart and show me who she was, but now she spread her legs for attention in a couple Ben Franklins, but hey, What's the point in gaining what you seek for if you lose yourself in the process? See, her POV, she doesn't realize she's just prostituting on video. Now, I'm not trying to pass the first stone. I'm just expressing my disappointment in someone who I used to care for. Made a decision that most likely brought her in the near future, but I'll be ghost and let her do her job. It just sucks looking at pictures of us and realizing that I used to like someone who I thought I knew. Just to discover that she was just a facade. With no foundations, sooner or later her bridge, Bill will cry for his simple lenders and come crashing down. But, if she ever decides to talk to me, I just want her, I just want her to know that I'm willing to take stress off her chest, not her brassiere. And it's true. I know someone in the doll industry, but no matter what she ends up doing, I just hope she has a happy ending. No pun intended. I just wonder what her life is behind the scene behind all the lights, camera, and action. I guess that's just X, X, X. Thank you. Yeah. Got one more. You guys give me one more? Yeah. So, this poem is for all the ladies. Ladies! So, it's called Message to the Ladies. You have been a victim to a crime that happens every day. Whether you know it or not, you've been beaten, scarred and bruised, used like the tool that they wanted you to be. What crime is this, you ask? Media abuse. The weapon of choice, anything that you can hear, see, or is tangible. And how do they do it? Simply through manipulation. They start by attacking you with questions in a friendly and appealing tone, making you second guess your appearance while trying to persuade you to pay for four easy payments of pretend self esteem, plus shipping and handling. Truth, you can buy beauty supplies, but that does not mean that you can purchase beauty. But wait, there's more. I just like it when females say, I want to be skinny. I question if they mean healthy because being healthy does not mean you're skinny. Thin? does not equal beautiful. And since it's skin deep, you cannot make up your personality. And on that note, I wonder why they call it makeup. Is it supposed to make up what you don't have? I mean, God made you the way you are, so what is there that you have to make up? Breathe, breathe. Now, I'm not saying that cosmetics are a bad thing. It's okay to use these products, but do not overdose because it gets addicting. See, beauty validation should not depend on men's confirmation. It should be self-established. 
I do not depend on what the models portray, because honestly, they do look great after Photoshop. And in the midst of all of this, I find it interesting how most of this abuse should be avoided. How every page you flip in a magazine is like instantly rolled into a magazine attached to the gun that you use to shoot at your self-esteem. Bang! There goes your confidence. We often forget that the media or professional are telling us what to do, but why listen to someone who doesn't care about you? They just want your money. Coins, bills, checks, and credit, they're all ads over their lives and publicized, and it turns out that you are guilty of being a victim. You see, now growing up, I was taught that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so ladies, may I ask, who's in possession of your vision? See, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4 states that how about the clothes that you wear and how you style your hair? Do not shape the beauty that God has brought into your life because it's great work in his sight. Now, if you haven't heard this, I'll tell you guys. You're beautiful. Not because of the mascara you put on or paying $35 to put acrylic near your cuticles. You are because you're made in his image. Not no Photoshop, editing, or Instagram filter can change that. That's right. I'll say this, it might sound corny, but I say it because it's true. But you cannot spell beautiful without the B and the U. Thank you.